Hello everyone, this is Sharp and Mild and uh, this is another video with an update of my $100,000 challenge. It's a challenge that we decided that we were going to pursue. Uh, it's a vision where we are going to convert $1,000 into $100,000, that's our vision. Uh, and the time frame is not, uh, you know, accurate. It might take a year, it might take a little bit over a year, who knows, okay? But our goal, our first goal is to convert the $1,000 to $10,000. Remember, this is our initial goal. From there, we're going to convert $10,000 to maybe twenty-five, dollars and then from twenty-five, dollars we're going to convert it to fifty, dollars and from fifty dollars to one hundred, dollars and after that, there'll be no limit, okay? So we're going to grow it from $1,000 to $100,000 in stages, okay? Each stage is nothing but a goal, okay? Once we achieve that goal, we're gonna move to the next goal, which is the next target, okay? So, for now, our goal, the initial goal is 1,000 to 10,000. So, you've all seen, you've all woke up today and you're like, oh my God, what is going on? It was fine at the start. So here, if I go back here, you know, the market opened then we went up a little bit, then man, that was a big slide and I know everybody saw that, okay? At least most of you. Now, the market, if you go here, you see it's green, right? So why the heck am I red? Am I that bad? Well, you know why it's green? Because 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 Microsoft is uh, up, Amazon is up, Netflix is up. You know those big giants are up, and these giants hold uh, a huge percentage of the uh, market cap. You know in terms of you know the S and P or Nasdaq or you know uh, 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 Dow Jones or whatever it is. So so that's why it seems that now if you're holding a, a, a stock in Amazon or or Netflix or Microsoft good for you okay but i know we here the big you know the, the the kind of beginners and the people who are within the smaller account we can't afford amazon so i know none of you probably have amazon maybe one or two okay i know not everybody has microsoft so if you're holding these stocks good for you uh you know this is your day okay so what i want you to do is this guys remember our foundation the foundation of this journey is patience and conviction, okay? So what I want you to do is this. I want you to let Mr. Patient and Miss Conviction run the show today. They have to run the show. They have to manage your portfolio today. So get your hand off that mouse or of that phone and do not sell anything because if you sell, you are making the biggest mistake in your life, okay? And I don't care if you think you're gonna make money because you're gonna go sell a stock at a loss, okay? And then come tomorrow, you're gonna think that, oh, I'm gonna use this funds to go and sell some and buy something else and I make up my losses for today. Come on, if you would think that you're going to make losses every day, then everybody will be a millionaire. You cannot make your losses just because you went down that day. You cannot make your losses within an hour or two. It's like those people who go to the casino and lose a hundred dollars and they think, oh, I'm gonna make, make back my losses. Let me, let me spend another hundred. Then they lose another hundred, another third kind of poker, okay? And whatever that gambling thing is, okay? Well, I'm not saying poker is gambling. You know, a lot of people think of it as a profession, which, okay, whatever. Uh, so anyway, uh, so uh, uh, yes, guys, please do not sell. Hold to your stocks. I'm holding, okay? These are the stocks I have. Think of them as numbers, okay? I'm looking at FIA right now. I'm $2 down, but I'm looking at this number, nothing but a, uh, you know, a red rectangle who happened to be red today, but it's probably going to be green soon. Okay, so stocks always move up. Okay, we're having a bad day. You know, the whole chaos in the, you know, game stop, you know, AMC, you know, uh, chaos, you know, the, the Fed interfering, the, the, the Nasdaq CEO, you know, uh, 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 suspended, uh, you know, GameStop and AMC and all those stocks. It is okay, guys. So we don't want to go into that. I'm going to probably uh, uh, post a video about that. I'm going to kind of talk about short stocking and, you know, what that means and what's the short squeezes and what's going on. I'm going to just break it to you where you're going to understand it because I know all of you now are like confused because I know uh, somebody who's been in the market for a week, they don't know what the heck short stock is, shorten is. You don't know what short it mean. Is it, does it mean that I have to hold for a short period of time? No, it's not. But I'm going to uh, touch up on this in another video. For now, I'm going to give you an update. I'm going to uh, 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 just share with you my, 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 my journey. Look, I mean, I was down. Look, I was down like crazy. But then, you know, it looks like we're recovering slowly. We are going to recover now. If you go and sell a stock, you're going to come back and you're going to regret it. Okay, you're going to regret it because this stock is probably going to go back up. Remember, these stocks we're holding have a lot of potentials. Think of this day like this, guys. We all wake up <clears throat> sometimes not feeling well, right? And I've told you that example before. You wake up in the morning and you have a slight headache, okay? But does this headache stay with you forever or does it go away? 
most of the time it goes away the same day or even maybe the second day or even the same day, right? Okay, so just because you wake up with a back pain or your body is aching or you have a star, you know, upset stomach, that doesn't mean you have a bad health. It just means that day you're not feeling well. So look at this red day as a day where the portfolio is not feeling well. You know, it's tired. Maybe it's tired. We've been gaining a lot. Maybe it's tired, you know, of working. So now it is, you know, having a bad day, but it's going to recover. Okay. So just because you woke up with a headache, that doesn't mean you don't have good health. You're healthy. It's just that day. So what you do, you just sometimes you just, you know, maybe take a, you know, an Advil or, or sometimes you don't even do anything because nature will, you know, just heal you, right? So nature or the nature of the market is going to heal this portfolio. But what does it take for us to do this? Do you rush to the emergency room because you have an upset stomach and you go and, you know, you start spending your money on doctors and you buy every medication you have? No. What do you do? You just take a small, you know, a pill of Advil or, you know, sometimes you just, you know, relax or sleep more. And that's what we're going to do. We're not going to go to the emergency room. We're not going to go and start uh, uh, going panicking and selling and trying to, you know, make money from other stocks. Oh, let me, let me make up my losses that I lost earlier this morning. Do not do this, guys. I'm going to ask you to please let Mr. Patience, this is the foundation. This is a pillar in our journey, right? Patience and conviction. I want you to let Mr. Patient and Miss Conviction run the show today. They have to run the show. You have to let Mr. Patience and Miss Conviction take over your account right now. So what you do is you get your hand off you that mouse, mouse that and then you get your phone on the side okay my advice to you is just to go and chill okay and let it go and i promise you, you're gonna come back you're gonna see your portfolio recovering okay let the nature okay uh, recover your portfolio so all these stocks that you think of selling right now it's probably gonna come back and then you're gonna come next day and say oh my god what did i sell didn't we talk about this the other day and a lot of you came back mad at me because i told you go and check the <laughs> stocks that you sold two months ago and see how much they are now. Most of you came back and said, man, it tripled, quadrupled, you know, five, five X, 10 X, you know, and that's what's going to happen. I mean, so what if Jumia drops? I mean, what is it? Or Afria, I mean, Afria, okay, it dropped what? 1.9%, oh, big deal, you know, but it's been up. Look at this, it's been up all week. Let it drop a little bit, let this guy breathe a little bit, okay? We can just keep squeezing every dime out of it, right? Uh, what is it? OEG, okay, okay, let OEG drop. Look, it dropped and it's going back right now. It was $4, man. It was $4 like four days ago. Now it's seven sixty, and then you're gonna get mad at her and you're gonna just break up with uh, OEG now because she just, you know, uh, had a bad day. We're not gonna do this. We're gonna stick with this girl, okay? Orbit Energy, she's awesome, guys. Uh, Neo, I mean, Neo is going up. That's good. Remember, it was down. Huh? It was down all week, yes, uh, last week, and now look, it's coming back. So you never know, it might hit 60 soon. Um, let's look at uh, Jumia. Come on, guy. Jumia is our baby. Yeah, it dropped, but it was $43 last week. And it went all the way to 60. Oh, well, it lost some of its gains. Not big deal. Let that, let that baby breathe. Look, it's up 25% for the week. Let her breathe a little bit. And look, it kind of like trying to get back, right? It's strong. They will come back and everything, you know, I mean, X1, you know, dropped. So what? Let it drop 2%, 1%. Wow, big deal, okay? It is nothing, guys. Some people are losing thousands. I mean, if I show you the other portfolio, you'll cry right now because I'm big on it. But see, the losses in that portfolio seems bigger because it's a higher. But I'm down. I'm hurting on that portfolio. I'm going to show you in a little bit. After this video, probably I'm going to make me a video. It is, it is bad. But guess what? I'm just, you know, chilling. I'm looking at this number as red numbers that mean nothing. And I don't care if, you know what? I really would like this guy to go uh, red as well, Neo. So this way I'll, I'll be full red, you know, like full red blooded, okay? <laughs> That's funny. Look, everything is red. But it's okay, guys. I'm telling you, everything's going to come back. Fisker is going to come back. Look, it's going to come back. It's recovering now. Everything dropped, guys. So please let Mr. Patient and Miss Conviction run the show. We want to be strong and we are going to grow this back, okay? Let's just be patient and, and strong and I promise you we'll grow together, okay? Thank you, guys. And I love you and I will give you another update soon, okay? Bye-bye. Stay strong.